Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement the technique of dressing for success from Implementation Guide for the First Days of School by Harry Wong. Dressing professionally as an educator is more than just a matter of appearance. It's about modeling success and setting the tone for your classroom. So let's dive into Chapter 8, How to Dress for Success, and explore how you can implement this technique effectively. The key idea behind dressing for success is that as an effective teacher, you should present yourself professionally to model success for your students. The chapter emphasizes that you are treated in direct proportion to how you are dressed, and the first impression you make on the first day of school sets the tone for the entire year. To implement this technique, let's start with the four main effects of dressing for success, respect, credibility, acceptance, and authority. Dressing appropriately not only garners respect from your students, but also establishes your credibility as an educator. It helps create an atmosphere of acceptance where students feel comfortable and valued. Moreover, dressing professionally conveys authority, signaling to your students that you are the leader of the classroom. Now let's address some important questions that will help guide you in implementing this technique effectively. First, consider what your students will notice first thing about you on the first day of school. Your appearance plays a significant role in forming their initial perceptions of you as a teacher. Take a moment to reflect on how you want to be perceived and make sure your attire aligns with that vision. Next, when dressing for school, always look in a full-length mirror before leaving home. Consider your daily activities and ensure that you are appropriately dressed for all of them. Think about what things you should avoid in your school wardrobe to maintain professionalism throughout the day. Now, you may be wondering why something as seemingly mundane as what you wear is particularly important in the teaching profession. Dressing appropriately goes beyond looking good. It's about projecting an image of professionalism and success to your students. As a teacher, your appearance is linked to how much respect you receive and how effectively you can influence your students' learning. Let's explore another question. Can flamboyance and vanity have a negative effect on students' perception of you? The answer is yes. While it's essential to dress professionally, it's equally important to strike the right balance. Dressing flamboyantly or excessively can distract students and create a negative perception of your professionalism. Remember, simplicity and appropriateness are the key. Now, some schools require students to wear uniforms, but should teachers be expected to wear a professional uniform? It's an interesting question. While a specific uniform may not be necessary, It's crucial for teachers to dress in a way that reflects their professional roles. Dressing professionally sets you apart from your students, reinforcing your authority and expertise. To help you understand the power of appropriate dress, the chapter provides an activity. Imagine a time when you were dressed purposefully for a particular occasion, such as a wedding or a job interview. Close your eyes and imagine how that occasion would have played out if you had dressed inappropriately. How would you have felt? How would others have perceived you? This activity emphasizes the importance of dressing appropriately and its impact on achieving your goals. Now that we've discussed the key concepts and addressed some important questions, it's time to put the technique into practice. The chapter suggests planning and selecting your attire for the next full week of school. Share your clothing choices with colleagues and confirm whether they are appropriate professional selections. This collaborative approach allows for feedback and ensures that your choices align with professional standards. After a week of dressing professionally, reflect on your experience. Did your students comment on the change in your professional attire? How were your one-on-one and group interactions with students? Pay attention to the level of confidence you feel as the leader of the classroom. Based on your colleagues' feedback, classroom experiences, and personal instincts, make any necessary adjustments to your clothing choices for the following week. To help you track your outfits and prevent repetition, consider keeping a calendar of the attire you wear to work. This will ensure that you maintain a variety of professional outfits and avoid wearing the same clothes repeatedly. 
As we conclude this episode on implementing the technique of dressing for success, remember that dressing professionally as an educator is about more than just your appearance. It's about modeling success, earning respect, and establishing credibility. By dressing appropriately, you set the stage for a positive and productive learning environment. That wraps up today's episode of 5-Minute Chapters. We explored the key concepts and implementation strategies from Chapter 8, How to Dress for Success, by Harry Wong. Join us next time as we uncover more valuable insights from the world of education and learning. 5-Minute Chapters, because even teachers need Cliff's Notes sometimes.